Okay, everybody. Uh, you have already done other tutorials where you have learned some tools from Rhinoceros. Today, we are going to design a solar car, and this is going to help you finish the design part of your car and the project that you will be building for mechanical and electronic engineering. Basically, the design in Rhinoceros is going to be more organic than the others, that were more based on engineering prototypes and measurements. In this case, you are going to have the freedom to do the design as you like after you have accomplished this tutorial. So we're going to start with the simple sphere and we are going to model this that sphere like like uh, like clay and it's going to let you uh, find out some different uh, solar cars. As you can see some solar cars they have like a roach design. It looks like a cockroach, most of them. And the upper part of the car, it's flat because all the solar pa panels are in there. So what you do is that you have a car that is pretty flat, but you also need aerodynamics. So you can see some of them look have the, the, the little window on top just, just for you to see um, the road but it has to be very light and very aerodynamic. So we're going to start looking at some of these cars and we're going to try to build one. Okay, so the first thing to do is that we're going to open Rhinoceros now and uh, we're going to choose um, large object centimeters. Okay, so we're going to choose large object centimeters because that's going to be the scale model that we're going to make. Okay, now one of the things that we need to do is uh, start creating the sphere. Okay, remember that on the toolbars that you have all the toolbars ready, and we're gonna go to the bottom part and we're gonna choose snap. We're gonna select snap and planner. Remember that ortho. You don't need ortho in this case for now, but we're gonna choose the snap and planner, and we're gonna build a small sphere, okay, about 10 centimeters radius, okay, let me go, 10 centimeter radius sphere, and we're going to choose perspective to be our rendered viewport, so we can see how the design is going. Now, if you choose the sphere on the top view, we are going to start playing with it and modeling the sphere. So we're going to click on control points, okay, Click on control points. And if you read the command line, it says select objects for control points display. So we're going to click on the sphere and then we're going to press enter. There are some poly surfaces which the control points are not available. So in that case, we need a, a circle because it's that, that one is the easiest, um, the easiest solid to mold. So we're going to start, and, and as you see, we have all the control points that we can start pulling and pushing to obtain our design. So we're going to go to the front view, we're going to maximize the front view, and we are going to select from left to right the right point, okay? As you can see, you have it there, and we are going to pull it 10 centimeters to the right. We're going to do exactly the same with the left. Remember that you should create like a square, like a rectangle, because otherwise you will only choose the control point that is in front. You won't choose the control points that are in the back. So you just create the rectangle and then you can select all the control points. Okay, so we have kind of like a football here. Okay, now from the top view you see that it's more like an egg. Now on the front view you have like, um, like a football. Now, if you go to the perspective, you see that it looks like a little bit like a flying saucer. Now, what we need is that we need to go to the top view now, and we are going to create the tail of our car. In that case, I'm going to select, as you can see, I'm going to select the three main control points on the top view. If you want, you can maximize so you can see it better. And I'm going to zoom out a little, and I'm going to pull these control points about 30 centimeters okay 
Now, if I pull them 30 centimeters, I'm going to get kind of like, now, it looks like this. Okay? Now, we still need a lot to change because it, it's not very aerodynamic, our, our car. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to, like, the bottom part needs to be flattened a little. So, I'm going to select the three points on the bottom from the front view. Okay? From the front view. I'm going to select them. And now, I'm going to pull them up about about seven centimeters okay I'm gonna pull them up about seven centimeters but here's the problem I still have kind of like no aerodynamics up here now I'm gonna choose the ones in the top and I'm also going to lower them down about five centimeters now it looks kind of like a roach okay looks like a roach on the top and but I need it to be a little bit more flat at uh, the tail part so I'm gonna select on the right view if you want you can maximize the right view and I'm gonna select the points on this corner and I'm gonna try to put it down so it can be a little bit more flat so I'm gonna just I'm gonna lower it down like straight down that point in three centimeters okay or three squares remember that since we chose centimeters every small square is going to be a centimeter now it looks a little bit more aerodynamic if we want to take uh, if we want to uh, hide the control points then on the control point icon you should right click okay now after you right click you have something like this it looks like a, like a water uh, drop okay and but we're going to start making some other changes that, that will make it better. Okay, now, in the front of my car, it looks kind of like very round. I forgot to put and use the control points again. And I am going to select these two over here on the front. Okay, as you can see, these two over here on the front. And I am going to lower them down a little. Just about two centimeters. So it's not that round and has more aerodynamics. Okay. Now, let's take the control points off. Remember with the right click. And now I have a flat surface over here where I can put all the panels, all my solar panels. Now, now the pilots now, now we need the, the like the cockpit for the for our solar car, and it's kind of like a small window that has a that has a bump in the center of the car. That way, the driver can see the road. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, remember that it's your design. So after you have done this, you can you can make any changes to it and uh, create your own design. So you can just change it a little now from now on you guys can change it and you don't have to do exactly the same as I did so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change a little bit my car because I want it I want it to be more a little bit more like a little bit uh, thick on the top so the driver can fit um, nicely and what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to spread a little bit my wings. So on this part, I'm going to choose control points again. And I am going to just spread it a little bit more on the sides so it has a, a different look. Okay. Okay, remember that you should always work on um, on similarity. Like what you do on one side should be exactly the same on the other side. That way you can guarantee that all the parts are the same. Okay, when you put the control points also. Okay, so, okay. so you changed the model of your design and now we're going for the driver's um, cock, uh, for the cockpit okay, of our solar car. Now, on the top view, we are going to change to a different view. We're going to change 
to ghost it and we're going to turn the control points off okay now this is something that you should see on the top view and I mean your design now in the center I want to create a small hole where the where the driver's head is going to come out okay so I'm going to use an ellipse so just draw the ellipse click on ellipse and remember the ellipse this is going to be half of it okay so I'm going to make about the ellipse about um, three centimeters or more okay let's zoom in a little okay in this case I chose eight centimeters okay you can count them the squares eight centimeters and I'm gonna click then I'm gonna open my ellipse okay about four centimeters okay now as you see there is an ellipse but where is it it's located on the bottom or inside our car now we need to pull it up I just select it and drag it up like drag it um, outside of the car so we can see it here okay and we're gonna make a hole just using trim like in the other tutorials that you had to use trim well in this case you just have to trim that hole so let's go back to top view we're gonna select trim and we're gonna read the command line it says select cutting objects so my cutting object is gonna be the ellipse and the object that I'm going to open is um, just the, the upper part of the car so when I go to perspective as you see I have a hole for the driver okay there I have a hole for the driver now that hole should be covered with glass so we're gonna change it now using that same using the same curve okay so you, you just press the escape and using the same curve we are going to create the the, the, the glass okay to cover it okay so we are going to choose a new tool that's called revolve okay so we're going to go to surface select revolve and if we read the, the command line it says select curves to revolve we're going to choose the ellipse that we drew before press enter and then when it says start of revolve access we're going to go to the right view and we are going to create a line right on the line that um, that contains the ellipse okay on the right view it has to be on the right view now we, it doesn't matter how long it is you just need to make a line now you click and after you make the line you are going to go to the front view okay you go back to the front view and we are going to click on the left corner of that yellow line I'm going to click and we are going to start sweeping like if we were making a capsule okay now we're going to sweep 180 degrees all the way to the other side and we're going to click there now as you can see we have half of a, of a football which is going to fit right into our hole now what we're going to do is that I am going to just pull this ellipse um, down okay we select it and I'm just going to pull it down from the front view okay and we are going to tilt it now since since the ellipse is kind of like uh, different we're going to tilt it so it can fit properly now if I need to tilt it remember there's a tool that it mean that it says rotate we're going to rotate this and make it fit okay now we can organ it can be a little bit inside the cockpit there's no problem for that as long as we make it fit precisely there we go now I'm gonna just pull it up a little so it kind of sticks out 
Now what we have to try to do, though, is make it go in. Just a little. There we go. So it can be as precise as possible. If it's easier, take off the snap, the snap tool, so you can just drag it and make it look and make it perfect. Otherwise, with snap, it's going to be a little bit harder. Let's do it again. Okay. So basically this is going to be the cockpit for the for our for our car, okay? There we go. Okay. Now this fits perfect there. I had to resize it a little in order to fit because I had since I have the modification on the car, I had to make it a little bit bigger. But you can also scale it and make it and make the capsule a little bit bigger so it fits. Okay, now what are we missing? We have this, we have our capsule. We also have the body of our car, so we're missing the wheels. Okay? If you want, you can either import the wheels that you created on the other tutorial, or we can make some really quick wheels that you can use, okay? In our case, I'm going to make them really quick. Remember that uh, the, I'm going to draw them on the right view so I can see it better. I'm going to write the wheels. They're going to go inside the car. In that case, they're going to go inside, and you're only going to see uh, a semicircle, okay? So we're going to draw a circle here, okay? Wherever you want, it, you can draw a circle that is about the size of the wheel that you are looking for, okay? And I have that wheel over here. And plus, I need it to look kind of like a rim. So if I need it to look like a rim, I need to apply what I did with the other um, with the other tutorial so I'm gonna make another curve okay and I'm gonna just pull it out a little doesn't matter how the distance is it depends on how big the rim you want to do it and and look here's something very important since I'm working on on the rim I need a lot of uh, space okay and I know that the car is there. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to hide all the other objects while I work on the rim. So I'm going to select the, the, the cockpit and I'm going to select the body of the, of the car and there's a light bulb that is turned off here. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to have the rim, okay? The rim that I was... I'm going to, th I'm, I'm going to have only the... the the curves that I want. So I'm going to hide everything but the two circles that I just created. Now, remember that with the rim, I used to create another uh, curve so I can create the the tire around it. In this case, it's going to be uh, more simple because I'm just going to create the curve around these two. Okay, click on curve. Now here we are going to remember that we're going to select OSNAP and we are going to click on near okay so we are going to allow the near we're going to reach the near click there and let's make our tire okay it can be like that Okay, now we have joined these two. Now we're gonna do it around. I'm gonna do it around. I'm gonna cho I'm gonna choose ghosted here to see if how the curves work on the on the perspective view. Now 
I'm going to go to solid, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to go to surface, and I'm going to choose two, sweep two rails. Now the first rail, remember, is this one, it's one of the circles. Then the second rail, and of course, the cross-section curve. After I select those three, I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to have kind of like a ring, okay? So this is kind of like the tire that I'm looking for, okay? Now, these tires, you want to make them like look more, uh, they're, they're very thin because remember that for solar panels, you, you need to uh, decrease the friction as much as you can, so they need to be very thin. What I was thinking is that you can create another hole inside to make like the rim like a, like a solid ring, so that's what we're going to do. Let's make another one over here right in the center of this of this uh, circle. How can we create a curve that is <coughs> in the same that uses the same center as another curve that we created? Well, we are going to select one of the curves, okay? So one of the curves on the right view, and there is an option called curve offset offset curve. Okay? Now, an offset curve will give me a curve that can go inside or outside depending. So you can make it bigger or smaller. In, in our case, we're going to make it smaller because that, cause that's going to be the solid ring. Now we're going to use a distance of 3, press enter, we're going to type 3, press enter, and we're going to press, we're going to click. Okay? So when we click, now this circle has the same center as this one, as this curve, and we can use it for the purpose. Okay? So we're going to click on the curve and what we're going to do is that we're going to make some we're going to make some wheels that the rim is going to go out of the tire, okay? So it has more stability. So I'm going to pull it out a little. Okay? I'm going to pull it out, pull out the the curve and look what we're going to do right now. We are going to mirror this curve so it looks exactly the same as the first one. So for this tool, we're going to click on Snap, and we're going to disable the Off Snap option. Now we're going to go to Transform, Mirror. Now on the command line, it says Select Objects to Mirror. So I'm going to select this curve over here. I'm going to press Enter. Now where is my mirror plane? Now my mirror plane, since I have it in snap, it's going to be a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to take snap again, and I'm going to go right in the center of the tire, and I'm going to pull it down. Okay? So I click and I pull it down, and when I see that the other curve, it's completely straight. See? When I see that it's completely straight, I click again, and now I have my two curves, each on one side. Okay? So remember, transform, mirror, and read the command line. Now, we want this to generate a solid that goes from here to here. Okay? And it's very simple just by using another tool that I'm going to show you called loft. Okay, so we're going to go to surface and choose loft. Loft generates um, a surface out of two curves. In our case, our two curves is the outer curve of the rim. Okay, we have to be very careful that we choose the curve with the corresponding of the other curve because otherwise they will intersect when we create the solid. In my case, I have this curve and I'm going to choose the one that it's parallel to the curve that I selected. Okay, So I selected the two curves, so I want loft, and it says, look how the surface is going to be created. It's going to be created like this, and it's going to go around. It's going to be like a plate. I'm just press Enter again, and I'm going to click on OK. Okay, Now I have this part. Now I'm going to make another part. It looks it looks like kind of like a faucet. 
It's going to look kind of like a faucet, what we're doing. Now we're going to go on to the other side. We're going to use the same tool. We're going to use loft. Now we're going to click on this curve, and we're going to select the curve, the outer curve. Press Enter twice, and finally click on OK. So I have... So I have my wheel. I mean, it's a wheel that looks like a faucet, but, but it's very, it's just like the ones that they use in the solar cars. The only thing we need now is that we need to copy this wheel, make it, uh, put four wheels, and we can, um, and we can put it in our car. So we're going to go back to our car, so we're going to click and hold that click for the visibility icon that is the light bulb and we're going to select show everything okay now here I have my car okay with the wheel there so since I don't want to spend more time just putting a lot of details in it I'm just gonna and it's not gonna show I'm just gonna put the wheel I'm gonna put two wheels okay I'm gonna zoom out I'm going to select this wheel. So if you want, uh, you can hide, you can hide uh, the car again. Just hide everything, and we are going to select that wheel that we created. Now, if since I want to move the wheel around, not with all the parts like the the rim and the tire, I want to group this wheel. So I'm going to group it using the icon on the left that is called group. That way I can move it around. So if I click on it, everything selects. I'm going to copy and paste it four times. Here goes one. Paste it again. Two. Okay. In my case, what I want to do is that I'm going to use one wheel in the back and two wheels in the front. Okay. So I have my three wheels here, and now I can bring back the car. I can show it. Now I'm going to select this wheel. Let's see if I can put it on the right okay now this one just kind of put it on the left remember to always try to be very and this one of course will go in the back so I can select it from the top view and we can put it in the back so what I'm gonna do is that it kinda looks like so I'm gonna pull it up a little so I don't have to create the axis Let's pretend that the axis of these wheels go inside and we can't see them. We can only see the tip of the wheel. Okay? So that would be something like that. Now if we want to use the the rendered view, we have the wheel. Oh, but look, we can't let this happen. If you see that some object is kind of coming over or out of the another object, you have to uh, pull it down. Okay. I think that we we need to. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So it's this wheel that we're gonna pull down a little, so it doesn't show. Very good. Now, on the perspective view, we can we can see that the that it looks like the that it doesn't uh, stick out. Okay, so there we have our wheels. Now, the only thing missing is renderizing it. You can also create the solar panels like different different little holes and patch them. And if you create those holes and patch them, they can look like like the rectangular solar panels. That would be a very nice touch to this design. So basically, that's what it is. It's a very aerodynamic solar car that looks like the real ones. Remember that the real ones always look like this. Now you can use your own design and make it look perfect. Remember that the cockpit, when you renderize, will be glass and then you can use some other materials for this. So this is the tutorial that I want you to hand in for the uh, design of your solar car. This is very simple tools, but they will help you develop some other tools that are probably um, more unique okay, and complex. So thank you very much and 
I can't wait to see all those really cool designs.